Welcome back, guys, to Entre Nos. I'm Evelyn, and my co-host is... Alondra. And today, tell us about your mug. So today... Oh, it's not yours, but... <laughs> tell us about your mug. Okay, I don't... This is Stephanie's mug for my mom. So Aww. this is technically my mom's mug. <laughs> yeah, de parte de Stephanie. She made it? I don't know. Looks like it's... It looks like it's vinyl. Yeah. Look so that, but say, not the bottom part. Oh, yeah, this one? No, but this, yeah. No, 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 the blue part touch it oh yeah it is so it says ama gracias ya no está la g ya no gracias <laughs> ama gracias por aguantar a unas niñas traviesas y malcriadas como mis hermanas tu favorita funny oh yeah, whatever so my mug if you realize it kind of matches the entre nos color oh, it does. um my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law went to zacatecas mm -hmm. and she she brought back like a few mugs she's like oh which one do you want and i'm like oh i'll take this one and then i just really liked it and i'm like oh dang i can use it on entre nos even though the last one when did they give it to you on saturday oh I saw wow them. she just gave it to me so i'm just like oh i'll use it for my next mm -hmm. episode you know ya no tienes, huh? ya no tienes. i think i have like maybe like one that's <laughs> like know. in the back of the shelf that i haven't pulled out you know but i don't think it's like worth taking out but ahorita see i would have taken it out i'm against supposed to against yours. hang out with a friend and she's like come over so you can take mugs she wants to give us mugs oh yeah. my uh one of my cousins she's always like oh look this is a cute mug and i'm like it is cute but i am buying <laughs> but but she's like it's it, but it's her sisters or it's something oh. she's like you know my mom she'll yeah. be like uh, oh look my sister or no she said i think she said i can let you borrow it she showed me one she's like i can let you borrow it Since but I you can't all of keep my... it <laughs> <laughs> like that'll work i think it had like something inside of it you know which you've seen those mugs que tienen como un little character adentro like a little no, mono or something it. yeah i think hers i don't I remember what it was but um but yeah, so how you been? I've been good. Yeah. Just How's working. your training going? Well, uh, with um, CrossFit, CrossFit. It's going good. Yeah. I'm always bruised up though. Yeah? Yeah. yeah no, no te dicen aquí que. De que? Because you said last time que you were like acá and then, then oh, jokingly yeah, no. you're like, so oh, my legs looks get like bru a, bruised up a lot. For last boxes? Yeah. For what are they called? Jump box? No, not that. But I feel like cuando, I don't know, I guess when I'm tired, I stop like really perfecting my form because i'm already tired so mm -hmm. i just let the weight do whatever it does like yeah it's mm. so i end up i end up like but do you feel like into you're, you're doing faster now like yeah i have a little bit more control mm -hmm. on my breathing yeah i was mm -hmm. gonna say i'm actually going back to the gym today wow congrats that's what I you're know. like okay, we gotta wrap it up let's go yeah today i'm like i'm going back to the gym and right after i'm gonna go run my five miles <laughs> okay that's Since good. Roland's here, I'm going to take advantage that he's here. But mm -hmm. I, even though he's working, but I'm like, all right, I'm going to go hit the gym. And then I'm going to, como se dice? Like, go. But, you know, this is probably TMI. So I was supposed to go to the gym. I was going to go, like, at 6 in the morning because I didn't want to go morning. too early. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pero me levanté, dude. Like, como a las cinco y media. Right? And then I had chorro <gasps> this morning. Like, I think we all do, dude. I had chorro and I'm like, hey, no, I'm not going to the gym right now. Porque lo capaz que me voy y se me se sale. sale. <laughs> I was like, no thanks. Like, uh-uh. And then se I was sale. like, maybe I'll just rest a little bit. And then I woke up like an hour ago. Cuando me and Rona woke up, he came to his office and I'm just like, there's no fucking way I have chorro again. Like, you know, I'm just mm -hmm. like, damn. But yesterday, I did start my period today too, though. Out of nowhere, yeah. you know and oh, actually wait, no you're not, you're not regular no i'm not regular mm -hmm. but i'm lying though because my app did tell me i was supposed to have my period any day since last week up until you use this flow? week no i used the the health app from okay. the from the phone from yeah yeah mm -hmm. i used that one and it's pretty good i mean it tracks like a lot it's pretty accurate you yeah. know it's been tracking my crazy period for like so it always gives me like a window because it's like it's so off it's like you know? i don't know girl yeah exactly <laughs> you got problems yeah so then um but i'm about to but it's better now because back mm. then i would skip like three months <gasps> no period were you ever on birth control never what? never my just my but I don't like hormone. to regulate it oh no not even mm. well because so see the thing was like when i had gone to the doctor before i got married um i wanted to make sure i could have kids you mm. know and then um like literally it was like right before we got married and then i remember the doctor's like no your hormones are really thrown off like 
and I don't want to give you birth control because then when you try to get pregnant, it's going to be like Harder. really tough, you mm. know, and it's just to balance your, your hormones, mm. you know, maybe once you are tr- actually trying, we can work something out, like, you know, figure it out. I'm Do you like, feel like okay. that's why like some days you just out of nowhere enter into this funk because of yeah. your imbalance? Oh, yeah, for sure. Hormones? I think. But now I started in October of last year. No, November of last year. I did get on like medication but not a birth control. It, it was, was literally hormones. to help my to help balance like my estrogen hormones. And yeah, I don't remember what it was called really, but it was doctor de Mexico. She gave me like uh for November and then for December. So for 2 months I took her medicine and then once I finished that, she's like um I told her I have these other ones, less balanced pills from Katie Hearn. Mm-hmm. And a lot of girls have gotten pregnant with that, you know? So then she's like, I told her, I'm going to start taking these because these are specifically to help you balance your hormones. And they're supposed to give you like a little bit of like energy, you know, Uh like just once you're you're good, you know, inside, like I feel like you'll be able to be good. Right. So she's like, yeah, that's fine. So I took the balance pills for like two more months, which was January, February and March. I didn't take any. And then April, May, tampoco. So then Roland, we were just talking about it because he's like, because I was like, man, I should have just stayed taking them like monthly, you know, and then he's like, um, and right now he literally like earlier this week, we got back from California. He's like, I think you need to get back on the the balance pills, you know, so your hormones could try to stay like good. But since then, why don't you like do an appointment at the doctors to see? Well, I did. I'm going back to the doctor in Mexico, but that this is yeah like a fertility doctor like i see like to help you with that stuff you know yeah i am excited but i really don't want to go that route you know what i mean like i don't want to i want it to happen naturally that's why i feel like i've been pushing it but i just said my side i'm like i also feel like maybe god is just like maybe it's just not the time right now like it's maybe not the time to get pregnant or you know what i mean can you make sense of it though me in my mind no can you make sense of like why it's not that the time yeah yeah okay i can see why like i can i'm not like depressed i also do think that because you know we've been trying for like a long time already um I literally is i own i want a baby you know obviously we want our second baby mm-hmm. but i more want it because of milo like you know what I mean? he's the one who's like asking for it and he's growing up yeah because yeah. he's the one that's like i can tell he wants a baby you know um but yesterday it was funny because he was like um he was talking to roland and he's like oh i have to ask diosito for a baby i see and then, but he's he's done it at night before when mm-hmm. he prays but he doesn't ask he'll be like thank you for my house thank you for my toys thank you for he the never baby. asks for nothing <laughs> like he just says, says thank, thank you, you. Uh-huh. <laughs> he'll just says thank you yeah and uh but anyways yeah so i can make sense of why I, I do feel like I have so much that I want to do, mm-hmm. you know, that just um, it's just in the back of my mind. So I feel like maybe I need the clarity. I need to be set. Like I need to be at this level in my life. I feel like that maybe God is like, let me just give you a little bit more time once you're good. Maybe, you know, Okay. but I feel like if once I get to that point and I'm still not pregnant, then I'm like, all right, let me go to the doctor and check what's going on, you know. But um, but yeah, because my sister's like, vamos, you know, let's go check. You know, this doctor's helped a lot of people, whatever. And I'm all just like, uh, I'm going to wait. Like, I'm just, again, we want a baby, but it's not like a rushing it or, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's chill. Rose texted me yesterday, too. She's like, I get this vibe that, um, are you pregnant or, like, are you trying? And I'm like, no, nah, we're trying, but I'm not pregnant. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> I wish. But it was just so random, you yeah. know. And, um, but yeah. Oh, how do we get the balancing the yeah, hormones? hormones yeah so i'm excited because i also know that working out does help me mm-hmm. stay like you know more a little obviously a little bit more active but yeah you your hormones are regular i don't know i have to go check like you no but like um you get your period regularly oh yeah i do like on, on the, the dot oh so then you have regular yeah. like you're you're it's fine. always on the dot sometimes it's like a day early or a day late but so do you like ever always. freak out oh but no right you I'm wouldn't like, freak no. I was like, I was, no you wouldn't freak out right <laughs> i feel like i never ever have ever stressed freaked, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm. about like could to be pregnant before yeah. like, like you even with milo like married. yeah because with milo like when that happened like honestly rolling someone that was like i want a baby i want a baby and I was like, sure. In my mind, I'm like, I'm not going to get pregnant. Like, I just You're didn't think it. I yeah. wasn't going to get pregnant. And it literally only took two tries. And I got pregnant. 
that's so crazy <laughs> that is wild like how you know what i mean obviously i feel like god felt like y'all need this baby now yeah. right and uh because it was just two tries mm -hmm. and then it happened and i didn't even know i was pregnant till like oh, two and a half months later like you know They're like, oh, he's a little seed, you know, he's so tiny. But don't like because the empezaron a dar asco. No, I like, didn't have anything like. So not, how did you know that you were? How did you find a, out? Because me and Rolling got into an argument, right? So then I was just like, man, fuck this! I'm gonna take a pregnancy test. Out and of if it's just, negative, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> out of like curiosity, you know. Yeah. And then I took it like at six in the morning when he left to work, and then it was like positive and also because I had my tattoo appointment, uh -huh. my first tattoo appointment. Mm. Um, the Wednesday mm -hmm. so I was like let me just take one you know the Tuesday in the morning and I took it and it was Halloween day that day and I ended up it said positive and I'm like oh shit you know it, which I'm glad I took it because if not you would have been getting my yeah. tattoo and preg while pregnant you know so uh, that's why I ended up taking the, the test obviously my pele con Roland and I was like Land, let me check if I'm pregnant because I have my yeah, tattoo feliz, it's <laughs> feliz. It's right after yeah we were happy Roland was like oh my god you know so then when he got home I took another test you know and it was positive so then that Friday we went to the doctor and then we could hear Milo's heartbeat Aww. super fast you know but really yeah it's like super and i was like is that normal i mean yeah. i've been drinking is like, he my, running i'm like i've been drinking my whole pregnancy basically you know because i was drinking mm -hmm. on the weekends and taking uh pre-workout like because i would work out with my uh -huh. cousin so i was taking pre-workout drinking like shit that you're not it was supposed only four to weekends do. no eight weekends eight weekends yeah And it was, like, a lot, though, because at that time, I was doing, like, Latin night on Thursdays. What is that? Mm, so, basically, like, there's clubs or bars that put nothing but musica latina. Oh, okay. And so, it's called Latin night. So, I would go with my, my friends. We would go on Thursdays Why do you sometime. say Latin? Because Latin. that's what they call them. Latin nights. Yeah, Latin nights. That's what they, that's what they say. Latin. Latin. Latin? I say Latin nights. Latin. How do you say it? <laughs> Latin. Latin. <laughs> Latin or Latin nights. I say lat Latin. You say Latin. <laughs> Latin nights. Latin nights. Latino. No, nah, I don't know. Maybe one of us is right. <laughs> so I don't we know. both have a I heavy know. accent. <laughs> oh, she, yours is heavier than mine. Latin. Latin. <laughs> They're gonna be like the heck Latin. What's Latin? Latin? <laughs> La the latter. Yeah. <laughs> y tú? How you like? How was your week? It last was week? good. Yeah. Dude, I, I don't think I ever have a bad day. No, I don't think I That's ever do. That's really good. Yeah. No, nah, I've been having a few bad days, man. It's been rough out here, like for I real. Know. The day that I have, I think I, I deleted the picture. <laughs> <laughs> I took a picture of when I got the allergies. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I was like, what? And then the next day, me levanté. It was worse. The I don't know if the allergy reaction just went into my body, because the next day my body was aching so bad, girl. No me podía levantar de mi cama, like. My sister came because I was supposed to go run errands with her. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I don't know how shit doesn't happen to you because a mí me pasó eso, right? I went to go order Milo's little cake for, from Sam's. Mm -hmm. That was Thursday. Friday morning, Sam's calls me and cancels my order for the cake that was for Saturday. Oh, no. And then they're like, they had trouble with their printer, so they were calling everybody to cancel their orders. And I'm just like, what the heck? So I ended up getting him... Um, The ice cream cake that he wanted yeah. originally, right? Okay, God Pero, got him. God got yeah, him. <laughs> but the ice cream cake that he wanted was like 60 bucks. And then mm -hmm. the Sam's cake. You wanted was it gonna, cheap out. You wanted yeah, it cheap out. It was like it. 20, 22 yeah. bucks, right? But I was still going to give him like the regular cake, which was Sam has good cakes, mm -hmm. right? And I was going to give him that. And then I was going to scoop ice, ice cream. cream. Uh -huh. Yeah. But then I ended up getting him the ice cream cake. I mean, he wasn't going to know the difference. He just yeah. wanted ice cream, you know? But um. But yeah. what was his piñata? It was a um, a power box. Oh. So at nobody the, was gonna guess that. Huh? What do you mean? You people put did it on. It. Really? Yeah, they I guessed put, it. I put Mario. I know, but everybody, <laughs> a lot of people guess Mario, but some people guess the the power box. But people call it different stuff, so it'll be like it was like this look. Oh, so cute! And then they had coins like under like uh so the little kids would Dude. go and like punch it y le salían los oh little coins aren't i creative that's cool yes 
Tenía cups under or what? So, yeah. It was cups, right? Y nomás los tapastes con... Yeah, so basically I covered the whole piñata uh -huh. with the, the newspaper and shout out to H-E-B for sponsoring the newspaper for me. Um, <laughs> I got the other newspaper, really? dude. De la entrada, de la yeah. tienda. I made my They still sister. have that little thing or they have like a little rack. It's like a little rack. Yeah. And um, it's la, las especiales del día o de la semana, mm -hmm. whatever. So I had my little sister go to one side and grab all of them. And then I grabbed like no half of vieron. them. ¿No las vieron? A ella sí la vieron y no le dijeron nada. No. <laughs> she, she's like, man, that guy looked at me and smiled and just I just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I sell it. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, it was like so bad. But it's free. So, it's, yeah. you know, but I, I, I feel bad. But it's just normally... I get it, the newspapers from the en street. En el correo también te lo mandan el, los specials de mi tienda or I whatever. I don't get him. You don't get him? No, Why? I don't. No, no sé. I don't. Maybe I just haven't signed up, but I never get him. Mm. And um, so, yeah, normally I go with Milo, walk around the neighborhood, and then we'll just pick up the newspaper that's on the street, you mm -hmm. know, like that. That's what I've done the previous years. Pero este año, it's been so busy. Like, that you were just like, I need it now. <laughs> yeah, I need it now. So then I ended up going to H-E-B to go grocery shopping. Uh -huh. Yeah, me and I, my little sister's like, oh, look. So she grabbed from one entrance and I grabbed from the other one. And then we just took off oh, with the groceries. That's nice. And um, But yeah, so I did it. And then at the bottom, I put 16 cups. You know, I cut the hole, put the harina, the, yeah, harina, water, and the newspaper there. And then I just made the little holes, put the cups, and then put tissue paper. Yeah. And that's what kept it together. And then then they hit it like a regular piñata after that. Oh, porque había más candy. Yeah. So it was like the power, like they're powering up. Because uh -huh. I bought all of them, the little... Mi Milo likes the little things that you hit. Y se hace como una bracelet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He was showing me yesterday. Not yesterday, the other day. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. She was showing you the one that Myla, like oh, the one okay. with the, pop, mm -hmm. the puppy prints. He got that one for our dog when she passed away. Mm. So I think that's the one he yeah. was showing you. So I bought Super Mario once. Because Milo has a power watch, the power band that said the Mario that we posted. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, everybody's going to want One, something, yeah. you know. So then I bought the little kids, like a little one that they could just put and punch it or whatever. And um, so they were punching it. And then once all of them, they it was like just the little cousins, you know. So they were all able to go like three times. So it was good. And then um, after that, I even forgot the piñata stick, girl. <laughs> the, I was like toda thrown <laughs> con off. Pegaron. My suegro ended up getting like a small pipe or some shit like that. He found in the back and he just like gave it to them and they were hitting the piñata like a regular piñata yeah. with that. So I always come through with the piñatas for Milo, honestly, though. I The only one I didn't do was his first and second birthday. Other than that, I've done the last three by myself. Well, with my sister's help, you know, yeah. but pretty cool yeah i would i want to be a mom like you when i grow up oh thanks it's all about doing the research yeah it's to all be about to DIY. save your money yeah yeah because the piñatas now cost like minimum like 65 dollars mm -hmm. and it's Super like expensive yeah and then the ones from and Mexico something fun to do with your kids milo helps you I'm pretty yeah sure. milo helped yeah, so he was super fun. excited like he les puso las coins and then i just put the tissue mm -hmm. paper like you know, now he's able to be more like last year. No, the first piñata I did, the dinosaur, I put the, where he can put the candy through the dinosaur's mouth. Oh, wow. So then the dinosaur had his mouth like this uh -huh. open. Yeah, he estaba a little square for the candy. So Milo would go and put it. And where do you get the whole layout? <clears throat> do you draw the layout? No. So for the dinosaur one, I ended up looking on Amazon and it was like $10. Mm -hmm. The actual big you know design yeah and then i use that design i trace like boxes and then um i get my boxes from usps so shout out to y'all for sponsoring them because <laughs> they're free yeah the priority boxes oh, wow. they'll send them to your house but obviously you're supposed to like you know use the priority mail or whatever and then um so i use their boxes and yeah so i put them together and i trace them and cut it and yeah I just cut two layers and then I just cut the shape around it. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's pretty. It's a lot of work, but. Wow. But yeah, and then the Dragon Ball it was just a big circle. Yeah. And how was Universal? Girl, Universal fun. was fun. I definitely recommend <laughs> if y'all go. We had the VIP experience, you know, and definitely worth it. Really? I think the longest we waited in a line the whole day might have been like maybe fifteen minutes. Literally That's max. Yeah. Because Not we were moving so fast, like, yeah. you know. 
and other people and we were, were able you to, almost like oh my god we gotta slow down we're moving a little too fast yeah in a way we, yeah, yeah. You're like, i want to enjoy and look around well just we were gonna be able to do that but for the vip experience we had to um let me see let me put three more minutes for the VIP experience, you basically have to have a kid. If you want to get it for your kid, they have to be five because I don't. They don't ask for proof of age, you know. But I do think they're a lot of the rights are height required, you know. Mm-hmm. The requirement is like for a five year old, right? You know. So then, um, so I, somebody was asking me, and I was just like, they didn't ask me for proof for Milo, but I know that he was able to get on most rides except two. He was tall enough. Because he was tall enough, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's the average five-year-old that can ride on him. That's why. But it, it does make it worth it because it was like four. We paid 470 So the prices depend just on. Just for VIP. Just for VIP. Yeah. It just Not for tickets to enter to the universe. No, that it, VIP includes everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, not bad. So, 450 no. per person? Yeah, per person. So Well, we paid 470 mm. Yeah. Per person. Per person. And that included like the entrance, the breakfast. That included That's like, like almost like 13 yeah, we pay. It was like fourteen, yeah, hundred. You know, but I made the math. And um, how about this? Let's go on a quick break, and then I'll go into the details. Yeah. And we are back. So yeah, so basically, the VIP experience um, includes your entrance to the park. Um, it includes you getting on all the rides multiple times on the express line. So basically they have two lines, the regular line and the express line. Mm-hmm. If you buy the express, it's a little bit cheaper, um, but you can only skip the line of a ride one time a day. Mm-hmm. So you can only basically skip it. If you want to get on the Harry Potter ride twice, you have to make a line. You have to get in the long line. So then for VIP, no. You can get on the Harry Potter ride five times through the express line. Oh, wow. Like that. They give you free water, which is good because the water is super expensive. So I don't think we drank. We got so many waters. I feel like throughout the day that we didn't even have to buy water at all. That's good. The lunch is included. So it's like uh, and like it's a nice little buffet. Like mm-hmm. um, buffet, buffet, buffet. What is it? Buffet. Buffet, right? Mm-hmm. And um, they have characters from like shows come out and talk to the people while you're eating. Oh, well, cool. So Dracula was there and he told Milo, Happy birthday, my friend. And Milo was just like, Oh, hell nah. He's talking to me. <laughs> he was a little bit scared. He was nervous. Oh. And which, it sh- which surprised me that he was, you know, because yeah. he was not like really happy to see him. He was like, He's such a open minded to like characters, yeah. you know. So it surprised me that. But I think it was just because he looked like he was Stava Pintado de Blanco. He had the cape, the teeth, uh-huh. you know. He looked so like for him, him, it was like, oh my god, like this is the real him, like you know. I think like that. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, so it, the food was included, and then getting to most of the rides. Mm-hmm. So we basically got on all the rides except like two rides, you know. Which were the ones he wasn't able to get on? No, we didn't get on the minions and the 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 life of pets or something like that, <coughs> because uh, Milo was the only kid basically. I think in our in our group, so we got on like the big people oh. rides. We went through Harry Potter, the Mummy, Super Mario World, the Dino, the Jurassic World, um, Transformers, and Milo couldn't get on the Mummy, which was fine to me because it was a little scary. And then he couldn't get on. He couldn't get on another one. Oh, the big Harry Potter ride because Harry Potter has two rides. Mm. so he couldn't get on the big one which i know he would have loved porque he loves harry potter you know was it the motorcycle one no that one's in universal florida oh yeah yeah so then uh basically yeah we were able to get on all the rides guys and through the whole time we were with our guide like the guy that was guiding us through the park he also took us to the um, the lot where they record like the the tour guide part like the tour part and uh, we were able to get off and if you don't have vip you can't get off and walk through the places oh. you know and then we were we were like one of the first groups to be able to go to an actual like um set that's being used right now to record for another show and normally they don't let people in because they don't want people touching anything but since it's only vip they let you because it's such a small group record a show for what uh no like we went to a set i forgot what the show was called they oh got, okay yeah. so like a tv show like a tv show oh. uh-huh so we went to the set 
and everything tenía como bolsas así plásticas, so we wouldn't touch anything. But it was like, they showed us like, This oh, is where we record. Basically. Yeah, this is where we record. And there's, this is where they're going to be working on Monday, basically. Like, oh, wow. you know, so cool. I see, which I thought it was cool. It's like a soup. It's like a show. I forgot what it was called, but, but we did that. Uh, do you know about Jackass? Yeah. And then on um, that, like, uh, they had like a shopping cart. Y también, like, like a big one. I don't really watch. I used to watch like every yeah, now and then. Yeah, like dumb stuff. Yeah. So, nunca me llamó la atención. But they had like the shopping cart and we were able to take a picture there. Mm -hmm. Like with Milo and Milo. We, me, me, Roland had to carry Milo because it was so tall and it was so big. Mm -hmm. We went to like the warehouse where they had like their wardrobe and like the stuff, the furniture that they use for shows. Like we were in the warehouse. Like That's really cool. Like looking at all that stuff. I think I have seen the warehouse <clears throat> on TV. Mm. So where how they used yeah so then um so yeah it was pretty it was pretty cool and um but yeah it was i think it was definitely worth it because our goal was to go to super mario world and mm -hmm. that's the only reason why i got vip because the super mario world to get into the park in una linea you had to make reservation uh -huh. and then to get in on the ride it was like a three four hour wait Dang. yeah and the ride honestly to me it was not even that worth it but milo loved it so i mean that's all that mattered to yeah. us and it's not that big So Mario Road is not big at all. It's super small. But like the, the scenery, little town? Yeah. But it, the scenery of it is nice. Mm -hmm. It's definitely worth going to pay a visit just so you can experience that, you know. Uh, Milo met Mario and Luigi. He was super happy about it. Uh, he was stunned that he wanted to play the game of Bowser Jr. But in order to get to Bowser Jr.'s game, you have to go around the little, t the little town uh -huh. um, to collect keys. Oh my God, and, you, a long and in time. order to collect keys, you have to play mini games uh -huh. in there, you know. And But, um, um, the tour guide was not going to do all that. No, yeah. So when we went in the morning, we went to go sing happy birthday in the cafe. The cafe was already booked by like 8.30 in the morning. Oh, wow. It was fully booked for, for lunchtime. So at 11, they were going to open reservations for dinner time. You know, so it was booked, but I didn't care to eat there. I just wanted Milo to go in there and for us to buy a cake and sing happy birthday. Uh -huh. And that's exactly what we did. We did that in the morning. We went back to the VIP when our, our tour was going to start. Then when we were with the tour guide, he took us to the ride. So we skipped everything. That was the longest line we waited, which was probably like the 15 minutes. Yeah, the Mario game. Yeah, because the game was messing up or something like that. Mm. So then, ya yeah, hicimos eso. Y ya en la noche regresamos otra vez. And then we did the mini games for him so he can get to Bowser Jr. Mm. So I think it was definitely like a well-planned out day for us, you know. We went to the Minions by ourselves. I don't know, have you seen the Minions movie? Yeah, I yeah. have. You see the little, the first one where it's not the land of the rides, the unicorn where it's lo gana? I don't remember. Well, there's this, the there's that little fun land place. Uh -huh. So they have a mini version of it, i.e. That's cute. And Milo recognized one of the games. <laughs> and he's like, I want to get on, mommy, please. And I didn't want to waste my time getting in that one, you know. I wanted yeah. to go to, like, another one. But I was like, ah, it's his day. So, you know, we ended up getting on it. And he was just chilling, like, on the ride over. Because he loves rides, mm -hmm. apparently, you know. You never knew. Well, in Mexico, he's gotten on since he was, like, six months. No, he was like nine months when he he got on his first ride. What? In Mexico, yeah. Contigo though, like you were with him. Estaba con el primito de Roland. <laughs> But it was a, uh, it was like those, it was a slow one, like the little uh -huh. cars that just go in a circle. It was like that. But in Mexico, they don't care, you know. They're, they don't care how. <laughs> yeah. So Milo was just there, like sitting down, just watching. And every time we go, está la feria cuando vamos, mm -hmm. and he gets on all the rides. Like, he loves it. So, I kind of knew, you know, but, but you're, you're, these were, like, bigger rides, mm -hmm. you know, that he had to, like, meet the requirement. We're in the United States now, yeah. you know, so it's, like, <laughs> for real. And um, and he just, like, enjoyed it so much. That's good. But, yeah, definitely, if y'all have any questions about Universal California, uh, let me know. I'm more than happy to, like, give y'all some You think this info. the California one is cheaper than the one in Florida? I don't know, because I oh. think the one in Florida is bigger. Yeah. But I know California is more expensive. Mm. so overall i think we spent four let's say it was 1400 on the tickets mm -hmm. and then on the way over there with gas included comida incluida we spent like another 13 1400 and then the hotel was like 700 so i think it was like let's just say um, like 3600 3700 por ahí 
Let's say Casi 37. Cuatro. Yeah, let's say 37 max, you mm -hmm. know, porque let me just, you know, any leftover. But if I do the extra math, it'd probably be a little bit less. So it was worth it for us. I mean, Milo had a, he had a blast, man. He loved it. The most expensive birthday he's had. Yes. And then <laughs> we came back and had like a little get together, mini gathering with my family, you know. And that was like the, probably the most exhausting because it was so hot and then. But I didn't even decorate, so it was easy, you mm -hmm. know. But still, just the being outside, you know, it's draining. It's, it's hot. Coming from, like, a vacation where you think you're going to be... Chill. Yeah, and then the whole ride back home. Yeah, the the ride back home was tough, man. It was tough. But, I mean, we got it done. Roland drove, like, he's he's a good driver, so he drove, like, a good 12 hours straight. Dang. Yeah. But, I mean, we did stop for, like, food, you uh -huh. know, stuff like that, but... I drove, the most I drove straight was five hours. My knee was, like, hurting already. Mm -hmm. But I feel like just the, you know, so. I think the most I've driven is eight hours straight. Eight hours? Mm -hmm. Coming, like, from Mississippi to Houston. Mm. Or going to, from Houston to Mississippi. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, for me, it was the five hours. And I remember I was like, dang, the miles is 300 miles. Like, let me kill these 300 miles, yeah. you know. <laughs> but, I mean, it's cool. The scenery was nice. We saw a lot of the little tornadoes mm -hmm. building. Oh, the del desierto. Del desierto, yeah. Oh. But, I mean, there was a lot of mountains, too. My ears kept popping because mm -hmm. we were going up and down. I see, you know. But it was a good experience, guys. Uh, I definitely recommend it if y'all are into rides and into, and like. Have children. You know, or not even. I think Universal is more for grown-ups. Yeah honestly yeah we went for my birthday this year no last year F to universal yeah. hollywood yeah no no not hollywood in florida florida was it was how was it it was really fun yeah but i think my favorite part was the water park the oh, water okay. park was so much fun my sister and my cuñado mm -hmm. they literally go every single year i think twice a year they go just to oh. the water park in florida yeah it's called hmm. i think volcano or something yeah i saw that they Super had a water fun. park Mm -hmm. what is it like of rides or what yeah of rides it has a lot of rides mm, yeah that's cool i want to go i definitely told roland like i'm like for my birthday i think that i want to go to a park because i love getting on rides you mm -hmm. know i i want to go to the florida one to see how it is so a water park in florida yeah mm -hmm. but my birthday's in december but I, i'm i'm pretty sure well florida I went in stays january hot. yeah because florida just stays hot yeah. all the time so but in California, <coughs> dude, estaban los sesentas. I know, I heard. En las mañanas, and then during Beautiful, the day, right? and during the day, the weather was so good, but it's not beach weather. Yeah, it's like, no, you don't want to get in the water with no. 80 degrees. Huh? No, like, it's super cold, it's super windy, and the water by, por si está bien fría. Yeah. So I never understood when I would see videos of people being in hoodies, but now I get it, you know? <laughs> like, now I'm just like, oh shit, it is, it's chilly out here, mm -hmm. you know, but, but yeah, it's cool though. But um, I think we have eight minutes if you want to get into one of the stories. Let's <coughs> let's go. So we have three, not stories, but three, three people wrote to us. Yeah, to the anonymous. Anonymously. Yeah. yeah. So we have three people who wrote to us anonymously. One of them is, first time my boyfriend's ex from like three or four years before, text him late at night asking how his mom made Salvadorian yellow rice. Like, girl, what? You should have gotten that recipe while y'all were dating. If you liked it that much. Also, if she really wanted a recipe, why not ask during normal daytime hours? LOL. What time did she ask? I, apparently late at night. That's what she oh, said. Oh, late at night, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -mm. Three to four years before. Oh, what would you do? Nothing, though. If the, they text the Kike, like, his ex asking for Salvadorian or Mexican rice. Nothing. I mean, I wouldn't be like, nah, what the heck? No. No? Mm -mm. But wouldn't you think it's weird? <clears throat> no, not even either. <laughs> I think I'd be more like, um, I agree with the whole... Uh, Maybe I, like I the think whole late like, night. Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I the think is more night. like... I think that's what she's saying. Yeah. Like, the like date, girl, what? Like. Yeah like the um, yeah you should have if you liked it like that, that much, much then yeah. yeah you should have gotten it like why are we dating like why not right yeah one but if you are gonna ask for it again um why late night why late That's at night weird yeah and you you kind of <coughs> knew yeah it's kind of weird this is my ex it's, 
I'm texting him late at night. Okay, yeah, this is weird. Let me just text him in, in the morning. Yeah. Or even, does he even know the recipe, though? Yeah. The ex, right? He's going to have to ask the mom. Like, yeah. why not just ask the mom directly? I feel like I would just call Roland's mom and be like, God forbid me and his separated. Yeah. And be like, oh, como se, como hacías? Como esta, como esta. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, I'm always going to have a connection, right? Because of Milo. Milo. Yeah. You know, so I'd be like, I would do not think i would ask for Roland because it's like i'm gonna skip that step yeah. you know but um uh, it does seem a little shady texting late at night asking for a recipe like yeah. are you gonna cook it that late maybe i feel like this because um no let me stay quiet <laughs> like no let me stay quiet <laughs> no you can't stay quiet what were you gonna say <laughs> no nah, never mind anyways <laughs> oh my god keep us on the seat was it about the person no it's not about the person it's about, it's about my personal life yeah what did you do nothing anything well what did they do to you i'm really good <laughs> <laughs> all Which right when really we good. go off cameras you better tell me what you were gonna say all right but yeah i do think again it is shady i feel like if um if roland's ex texted him asking him you would reply me yeah nah so he's a grown a, he's a grown ass man he can reply back yeah but since you feel some type of way about it would you reply i her? feel like if if roland told me oh you can reply i would but i'm not again i'm not i'm not one to get jealous yeah. i i would actually like bust out laughing thinking like oh wow that's fucking weird like you mm-hmm. know like that like what's the need you know but um i feel like i would if i was the one to reply back i'd be like oh hey so and so um he actually doesn't know it but if you want you can text me and i can ask his mom and forward you the the information you know yeah very friendly if that's if it's that deep for you that you want the recipe oh you would say all that if it's or i could be like (laughs) (laughs) you would say all that (laughs) if it's that deep nah i think i'd be like or i can just send you her number and you can you know but again i really highly do not think i would reply back yeah. me mm-hmm. i would just tell her like, well that's on you baby boy like she's yeah. sexing you she's asking you so either send for her a google recipe or contestale like you know mm-hmm. porque that's i think i give people the benefit of the doubt like i never think people are doing things with bad intention at the beginning right mm-hmm. and then like i'd be like yeah tell her like tell her the recipe but if she continues texting i'm i'll be like whoa okay i gave her the benefit of the doubt i thought it was just gonna be one question but now she jumped into like how you so are you single and so are you uh, like you know mm-hmm. that's whenever what I'd be about like, nah. what about the whole rice thing and then le, le manda el rice, el rice recipe y le dice, yeah. like how you been yeah how that's been? fine that's mm-hmm. fine yeah i've been good what about you cool mm-hmm. uh, yeah but whenever it starts getting more into or what if she's like i've been okay i've been having a lot of trouble you know my past relationship so we ended up breaking up and yeah, now she starts much. venting to him yeah, no. <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah no that's too much i don't expect them to be like dang that sucks like to be his her therapist yeah, no. mm-hmm. <laughs> that's too much it's just small like i've been good what about you good all right cool i hope you have keep having a good rest of your life yeah i think that's i'm okay it. like that yeah. too like again i think my jealousy is like the bare minimum like yeah i think it takes so much for me to get jealous you know so i feel like with that i would probably laugh like come on be for real you know um it's 2 a.m girl it's 2 a.m like, you really want <laughs> yeah. rice right now like you know <laughs> <laughs> like i think that's how i would be about it you yeah. know no, or like laugh you know because it has happened in the past where Roland has received emails, you know. Emails? Yes, That's girl. crazy. No, when, an email is crazy. An email. Maybe this is TMI. <laughs> an email is crazy. <laughs> and then Roland told me, he's like, oh, my God. So-and-so sent me an email. And then I was just like, no fucking way. And he's like, yeah. And then I'll read it, and I'm just, like, laughing. I'm just but like, an email of, like, I miss you? Or an email of, like, how you been? No, an email of, like i just want you to know that i've never for- forgotten you oh yeah no. and she's living her life she knows he's living his but he's always gonna be in the back of her mind Mm-mm. and sent a list of like songs that reminded like Mm-mm. um him and she did that no- thinking like you were never gonna know because it's an email yeah because she yeah. To- she said basically don't tell nobody but i'm his everybody <laughs> <laughs> That's 
a good uh, one. I'm like, yeah. are we yeah. not, right? Yeah. <laughs> So, of course, he's going to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was like, but again. And then I told his mom. And then she's like, no te creo. And I'm like, yeah. And then we just busted out laughing again. Because it's just like, come on. Be for real. Right? Yeah. Like, uh, it's not that deep. Like, <laughs> you know. That's crazy. So, so yeah. That happened. But again, I didn't get jealous at all. It was more like, I would never do that. Mm-hmm. I would never text an ex. And I don't think I ended bad on bad yeah. terms with any of them but it's just like my pride is way too high for me to be like hey how does your mom make this i'll google just that google shit it. and try yeah. it myself like tiktok tiktok <laughs> tiktok's my my suegra yeah tiktok teaches it's me my ex-suegras yeah <laughs> <laughs> like literally like how do you make the yellow salvadorian rice and yeah. then i'll look up one and if the video looks good i'll make that one yeah that's how i go about it you know so so yeah, but it would, like whoever it would, sent that story, I know that's that's crazy. our opinion. So if you, <clears throat> if you just like say for example, right, you have an ex and you know he's had a really rough life or whatever, mm-hmm. or you say his mom passed away, would you message him saying my condolences? Yeah, I hope you're doing good, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I do not think there's anything wrong with that mm-hmm. actually. Um, yeah, I mean, one of my exes did pass away. Yeah, el falleció porque he was just you know doing drugs i feel like he wasn't guided well you know mm-hmm. and i know he had it rough and uh because when we were dating in middle school i remember him telling me that they used to stay at a motel mm-hmm. with his mom and like his sister and stuff like that so i know i don't know a hotel motel i don't know what it was and um and he passed away and i did text From, he od'd he od'd yeah oh no no they shot him mm-hmm. porque he was on drugs so yo sí lo fui a visitar the a cops él. shot him? <clears throat> he trespassed into like oh. a property and they shot him, I think. I think, I don't, honestly, you know, I don't know too much mm-hmm. of the details. I could be wrong. And um, I did go visit him before he passed away. Because I remember his sister told me that he wasn't doing too well, you know. And uh, I remember that he was like so off. Like, he was in the mindset that me and him were still dating in middle school. Yeah, like, él estaba, like, and we, I, I went to go That's see him. Scary. <clears throat> yeah, I went to go see him, and I was already with Roland. Yeah. So, this means, like, years <laughs> later. Uh-huh. Years later. Was Roland okay with you going to go see him? I think I told him after the fact. Like, okay. I went, you know, and, because I felt like at first he wasn't going to understand, Be- yeah. you know. <laughs> but then, yeah, cuando I you already pedir, did. Pedir, 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 que, que pedir que, permiso. Sí, exactly. <laughs> so I did it, and uh, but I don't think he got mad or anything because yeah. I would tell him too because when I went to when I got kicked out of East early, I ended up going to Austin, and he was there, mm. and I remember I would see him, and I know that he was tripping, like you know what I mean, like yeah. he was on drugs all the time, and I would tell him, I'm like, man, like yeah, like. That's you just need, not yeah. him, you know. Y si me daba cosa porque I'm just like, damn, like, he's basically, like, wasting his life, you know. And then he ended up passing away. When he passed away, I did get sad. Like, mm-hmm. I did have this feeling, like, damn, you know, like, I have, yo le tenía cariño, like, you know. <clears throat> I mean, it's, what, middle school yeah. boyfriend, you know. But, but still, it was like, damn, that sucks. Like, I wish I could have done more to help him. But then it's, I know it's not on me, mm-hmm. you know like that so again i don't think but of course you know some exes are very like the mandan con malicia you know so i feel like if one of my exes that i kind of feel he would do shit like on purpose it's just like not, why even entertain it no yeah you know but with this one <clears throat> yeah why now i want to know did your boyfriend or send husband that said did he send the <laughs> recipe or did he not right like what happened what's the next step like <laughs> were you mad or were no? you mad or like uh i just want to know did she get the recipe or not mm-hmm. right so this next one it's uh you want to go into the <coughs> the family one or the me one the family one all right okay okay so i come from a large oh wait let me reset it and then we can do oh, it. Okay. Yeah. And we are back. 
So this next story, it says, okay, so I come from a large family and I have a lot of cousins, most of them being under 10. Lately, I become very annoyed by how my aunts are raising their kids. Basically, they spoil them too much, making it annoying for my siblings and I to get along with them. For example, my little sister, who is six years old, bumped into my five-year-old cousin, making her spill water on her shirt. She started crying and treating my little sister like if she had done it on purpose. My sister apologized and said it was an accident. She continued to be mean, and so we told my sister to not play with her anymore. As one of the older cousins, it bothers me that my aunts are teaching their kids to be this spoiled and mean when it was clearly an accident. It, I'm starting to hate hanging out with my family because of how my cousins are act and my aunts never calling out their bad behavior. Hmm. That can be annoying. I know, I feel her. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Like, I feel her as in, like, I know she's, like, like, it's being hard. For, it's hard for her to, to hang out with her family. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Like, it does happen because, like, for me with Milo, like, he's my kid, right? So, we were just actually just talking about it yesterday, like, how, um, for me, I feel like it's it bothers me if I see that another kid is doing bad. Y no le llama la atención. Mm -hmm. And then Milo's, and I'm the one having to get on Milo, you know? So then me and Roland actually started to decide to, like, nah, fuck that. Like, why get on Milo when he's not the one doing anything wrong, mm -hmm. you know? So. Just let it be, kind of? No, like, depending who the other kid is, either being like, hey, you know, watch your kid, you know? Like, for with my depending sister. Depending who the parent <clears throat> is, like, si te, yeah. uh -huh. Like, with my sister and my nephew, when he be acting bad, like, and he's, like, doing shit, I'm like, Maria get baby mario hey look at him i'll be calling her out and be mm -hmm. like hey look at him look what he's doing and hey you know and i'm like gordo like out loud so she can hear me you know yeah. and acknowledge that a hey, kid is being bad yeah or um i think like with my other nephew with elias i feel like um his her his mom stays on top of him a lot mm -hmm. you know so i feel like there's no need but i feel like again he is a nephew so i feel like we can kind of I don't really get on... on you can kind of tell him, like, no, don't yeah, do that. exactly. Mm -hmm. So then that's what we were talking about yesterday. So Roland's like, I, that they were, like, drawing or whatever, and, and the, like, on chalk, like, on the floor, with chalk on the floor, and uh, Milo was moving because Elias was drawing where he wanted, but Milo was going over here, and then Elias was going over here. But Elias is autistic, you know, so I don't think he fully understands 100%, like, a lot of the stuff, you know? Yeah. So then, um, like, like, but like Milo, space, like, <laughs> yeah, and Milo is like, Elias, you know, like, he'll be like, Damn. like I moved, bro, so, they, <laughs> so yeah, I could be alone. Oh, you're like, you go draw over there, and I go draw here. But Milo doesn't understand that Elias doesn't understand, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So then, my suegra is like, Es que no entiende, and I'm like, I know, I know he doesn't understand, I know Elias doesn't understand, but Milo doesn't understand that, that he, he doesn't, doesn't understand. understand you That's know? why he gets frustrated. He sees him the same, yeah. you know, as he should. And um, so, yeah, so then Roland, like, Elias did something, so Roland was like, Elias, no, you know. And then Laura's like, okay, we're going home. And that pissed him off, like, Elias. And he just, like, threw a fit or whatever. And, you know, because he just wanted to be there. Mm -hmm. But my point is, like, I feel like as a parent, I feel like if Milo is doing bad, like, I'm going to get on his ass. But I won't get on his ass, like, in front of everybody. Like, I'm going to put him to the side, talk to him and explain what he's doing wrong. And then let him go back mm -hmm. and apologize to whoever he has to apologize. Right. Because para que lo voy a engañar o le voy a pegar en frente de todos. One, I'm going to embarrass him. Two, it's just like, what's the need to embarrass them? You know? And I feel like if I pull him to the side, I can actually explain to him with his full attention of what's going on. Yeah. Because if I do it in front of everybody, he's going to be too like everybody's looking at me. And he's not even going to focus to what I'm telling yeah. him. Uh, you know? No, yeah. But honestly, like if it was like this... I would be like, t I would go off, I would tell my tia, like, you know, I'd be like, man, what the heck, like, why are they being like that, you know, but I, of course, it just depends how the tia's reaction is, though, like, when to, when her kids do bad, too, yeah. though, you know, I think, no, I think the way she describes it is, like, that's just the way the kids are being raised, very spoiled, yeah, but it could be, like, where, mm, I guess, because, Milo, like, I don't say he's spoiled, but, I mean, we do give him a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
No, it's because, like, you guys are <clears throat> also restricting him whenever it's needed, you know? Mm-hmm. Y'all restrict him from, like, the things that, or y'all limit to what all he has. Mm-hmm. He has a limit, como quiera. Like, he's not entitled. He's not an entitled kid. Yeah, I know. And a lot of kids are growing up entitled. Like, they can do it whenever they want, what they want eat yeah. whatever however you know yeah because honestly like the whole um, the dropping water on the shirt you know it's not on the old it's not a big deal it's agua yeah it's like it's water you know like so i feel like the little sister did do good and saying yeah. i'm sorry and saying i'm sorry it was an accident yeah but if the little girl continued to be mean like i would have told my little sister man I'm like fuck her like don't play with her you know yeah. i would have told my sister that like play with me i'm cool i'm older and then I would just play with her and just teach her not to be worried about that other kid, yeah. you know, like that. Because it's just for what? Like, and it's crazy because as little kids, their stress is things like that. She doesn't want to play, play with, with me. me. She doesn't yeah. want to be my friend. And it sucks, you know, porque Milos told me before, yeah. like, that somebody's like, well, you're not my friend. And he's like. He's all sad. He's like, mommy, that um, so-and-so told me I'm not their friend. And I'm just like, it's okay, puppy. You have more friends. And he's like, I have a lot of friends. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay. <laughs> but the stress yeah. of that, you know. Of not being like. Of yeah. somebody told. But I guess them. I'm asking. I'm, I'm curious to like what the mom thinks. The mom de la muchacha. De la muchacha. Right? Yeah, I wonder it's her if little she's, sister, no? Yeah, she's talking about her little sister. So yeah. I'm wondering, I'm wondering what your mom thinks. Yeah, you know, if it's your aunt, if that's your mom's sister or your dad's sister, like you know, or if they see this, you know, because it seems like they hang out a lot, you know. Yeah, and she's getting annoyed by it. So I don't know. It does suck. Honestly, sometimes we don't have control whenever parents don't call out their kids for doing bad stuff. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you kind of have to like slide it in there disimuladamente like you know yeah to be like hombre ustedes sus hijos no lo saben criar hombre yeah so the next story we have is you want to read it yeah it's a little story <laughs> it's this it's, literally story it's a little um como se dice it's a little hate <laughs> it's a little hate comment for evelyn <laughs> An it anonymous says, one, yeah. too. A little anonymous hate comment for Evelyn. This says, story. I think Evelyn is low-key racist. Because on Entre Nos, episode 15, around the one-hour mark, her demeanor changes when she starts asking Alondra about her history in dating black people. Bruh. The F? Y'all should post that clip on TikTok to go viral. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, whoever sent that, thank you for sending that right <laughs> but honestly though if you know me i'm not racist at all but it did i feel like i asked my cousin yeah about it i was like hey go look at this and then she asked her sister i was just like um i was like do you think it comes off like that you know and then she's like honestly no like she's like if you look at it that deep yeah then you're just like thinking oh my gosh she's racist and then you make that reaction then i can see why people are gonna think that right mm-hmm. she's like but i was like She's like, but why did you even ask if they kissed, you know? And I'm like, I feel like it's That's why more... I was like, are you ill about it? Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> she said that, that you were like... And I was like, no, it just throws me off because I feel like the now you, I can't picture the old you. Oh. Because sometimes you be telling me stuff and that's when I'm just like, nah, you're lying. Yeah. You know, I'm just... And I told her, I'm like, it just throws me off when she'll tell me stuff and I'm just like, there's just no way, you know? <laughs> and she tells me too, she's like... <laughs> Yeah, because she listened to the podcast. She's like, yeah, I can see that, you know. And then she's like, but both of y'all have a lot of facial expressions. Yeah, you know? we do. And she's like, but I don't see how they would think that it was racist when you literally said right after that, like, that you kissed somebody too, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, no, yeah, I mean, it's whatever. But another thing too, though, I do think it's very um, common for, for me personally to meet a Hispanic that isn't dating a Hispanic. It's right. more like, like, oh, really? Like well why not like what are you dating you know because mm-hmm. it would have been like if you dated if you if the story was with a white person i would have been like well did you kiss him yeah <laughs> the same reaction you yeah. know what i mean or like an asian well did you kiss the asian yeah like that <laughs> yeah. it's more like uh it's not as common for hispanics not to be with the hispanic right now it's a little bit more i feel but uh but still you know it kind of caught me off guard there and then but she did say my cousin's like 
But the whole you asking, well, did you kiss him? Is what threw her off. Like yeah. <laughs> she's like, it didn't throw me off. Like whenever she had heard it, but yeah. then going back and looking at it. So if y'all want to go back and look at it, it's episode fifteen around the one hour mark. And um, but yeah, we were. I was actually telling Ronan like we should make a clip out of it, you know. But yeah. he's but then he was looking at it. He's like, I just don't know where to. I know, it. yeah, literally, because I was like, there's no <coughs> way it's too short. There's no way it would be a good clip yeah yeah there's no way he's like uh if i cut it too much then it is i'm gonna be cutting a lot of stuff and then it's gonna like wonky yeah it's it's not not gonna go with the actual real life yeah it's not gonna clip or nice yeah so then um but yeah but i'm not racist guys i love uh everybody and anybody and that's the tea and that's that's, that's tea. what they said yeah you know but honestly whenever i did see it i was in the restroom at a rest stop and uh coming back from over there and we were already in texas and i was just like coming out and i'm just like wait what like you know <laughs> <laughs> and then i, I told, as soon as i got in the truck i'm like somebody says i'm racist and he's like for real and i'm like yeah and he's like who and i'm like i don't know it's anonymous <laughs> you're like i kind of want to pay <laughs> <laughs> i was like man imagine i pay and it's somebody that like i know that'd be wild oh man <clears throat> um but yeah so oh before i forget i wanted to give a shout out to um 111 manifest they gave me this little um candle at the spoil latina summit which i would love to get into but let i think see, let me smell it i didn't honestly i don't even remember let me see mm. well then Never mind, keep it to myself. <laughs> I'm oh just kidding. My God. <laughs> I'm not mean. No más huele como el spray de baño. Really? Yeah, huele como like whenever you. Well, your restaurant is smelling good. Yeah, como spray de baño. <clears throat> Bro, that's expensive. Oh, it's twenty dollars. I didn't even see that. Maybe because it's like all with organic. Huele. Mm-hmm. Well, you know the girl that does it sells like the crystal stuff uh-huh so i don't know yeah it's good it smells good mm-hmm. but yeah i told her i was gonna put it in like the podcast like the table or whatever i really appreciate it mm-hmm. um the summit was fun uh it was a big networking um like event you know um but i think we can go into more details like the next episode because yeah. i feel like this one we went over like universal and then what else did we go over a lot of things oh the eight, the kid that went missing. Remember we talked about it. Oh, see, sí. um, Ru- Rudy. Ru- Rudy. Rudy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they did say his mom lo tenía, mm-hmm. and his mom was abusing him. But then, it when he went to the doctor, it turned out that nobody was abusing him, so they, there were no charges made on the mother. What? Yeah, he went to the doctor. They did a whole evaluation on him, mm-hmm. so he was returned back to to his house, back to his mom. So no. So no I charges the, were being So made I on thought the mom. the mom was gonna get charges for lying to the police department, though. At least that for yeah. saying for not saying that he was found. Yeah, and for continuing the whole that he was still missing. Yeah, at least that. But but nothing about abuse. Did you see? You said you saw the movie though, right? <clears throat> um, Sound of Freedom. You did. Yes. Do you want to? We have six minutes. Do you want to finish it with that? No, oh, because I want you to watch, go watch it. I do want to go watch yeah, it. Yeah, I want you to go watch it. So whenever you watch it, we can talk about it. Okay, I'll probably go this week so we can go. We can talk about it next week. Yes. So stay tuned for the next episode. We are going to talk about, um, what was it? Our again? thoughts on, on freedom of, sound of freedom. Sound of freedom. We're, our thoughts on that. And then um, I'll go over the Spoil Latina Summit, how it was for me, my experience. I'm going to be gathering like a video, that a, like a little recap of some of the stuff that I did. And then hopefully share some big news with you guys. And we can talk then. about tipping. I wanted to talk about tipping. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk yeah. about tipping. It's such a big thing right now. Yeah. Damn, that would have been a good topic to talk about. But we can talk about tipping. Put it on the notes before yes. we forget. So it'll be the Spoil Latina, Sound of Freedom, Sound of Freedom, and tipping. tipping. All right. And with that being said, guys, thank y'all for watching, and stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.